Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Service Run the Skate Park Advisory Board here. We're going to talk about um, uh, skate park and Landry Park and uh, ideas and suggestions that we have to make it better for everyone to use. But first, I want to talk about um, some upcoming events from Service Rendered. We're about to open on February 21st. We're going to be opening up our, our art gallery in the Burlington City Place Mall on the 28th from 5.30 to um, 8. And, um, and then we're going to have um, events February 28th at a fundraiser. It's called Art So One for Comedy and Art at um, Hotel Vermont. And we're going to have our, another, grand, another event like that at um, Queen City Brewery on March, in March 28th. And then April, we're going to have at the hotel uh, at Marriott, uh, comedy and art. It's going to be so much fun. So these dates will be, you will see it on your social media. There's a lot of things coming up. And um, we're happy to have our new sponsor, uh, Habit Mead um, Brewery and uh, Queen City Brewery. And um, so we're very thankful to have them to support what we're doing. And so uh, right now, we're going to talk about our, our skate park and our, our ideas with our, our advisory board with, that we've been working on all together. We've been meeting on this. Um, they've um, presented on, in a community forum to um, our um, municipal commissioners and gave them some ideas about what they're going to want to do with the park. And, um, we're going to be uh, talking to um, the city council on February 11th and give them some ideas, same ideas. And then also, then we're going to be on the agenda to present doing this work. And so, um, so I'm Bruce Wilson. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Bruce. Yeah, you are. I'm Brett LaCour. Um, live here in the Burlington area, and I've been a regular at the Winooski Skate Park for I don't know, 12 years or something like that. So it's like a second home to me. And over the years, uh, I've worked with the city uh, and with Dave Wood from Talent Skate Park to get uh, small renovations done over the years. And yeah, now we're kind of getting to the time when I think bigger stuff needs to happen there. So yeah. Uh, my name is Spencer. I, this is the first time I've been involved with a skate park renovation project. So I'm really excited. My name is Christian Cantrell. I am a student at UVM, a skateboarder here in Burlington. I love Winooski Skate Park and love what it could be with the help of Bruce and Service Rendered. I'm Mike Beland. I'm uh, also a skateboarder in the area around Burlington and Winooski mostly. Um, is also my first time being involved in any kind of skateboard renovation or skate park renovation, so I'm uh, pretty excited. Yeah, so we're all excited too, and like, I, I'm not a skateboarder, but I, I, I told these guys I'm gonna learn how to skateboard, and <laughs> teach me. I'm not gonna start, I'm not gonna start off on the, no lifts or nothing, I'm just gonna be skating around the park, doing my little flips and stuff. That's know? right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Doing my little tricks, you know. The little flips. <laughs> little flips, you know. Get you doing Hit the all rail the, now and yeah, then. Yeah, we'll know? get you doing all the tricks, Bruce. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I wanna yeah. do it. I wanna do it. <laughs> so uh, I'm ex very excited about this. You know, we, um, we, we've done some work and some, we put all our brains together to uh, come up with some ideas about um, how um, we can make the park better just are some improvements we're not talking about doing like an you know like tearing tearing nothing down too much you know what i mean you know more than old stuff you know getting rid of some more not even tearing down just getting rid of and bringing some new stuff mm -hmm. so um so what are some of the ideas that we're we're talking about you know if you want to you know i can bring up we can bring up the uh, some schematics if you sure. want to talk about what so so bring up the schematics of the park so we have the schematics of the park. That's Landry Park right there, skate park. And um, this is how it looks. And, and, and I know one thing that I learned from all, all, of, our guys, all of us is that, you know, like, um, God bless A-Dog and A-Dog uh, Skate Park. But it's, it's a little different than this park is different. Can you tell me, you know, each of you tell me what you think the difference, who want any money can start, you know? I'll start. Um, something that we talked about in our meetings before is how this is more of like a, a plaza style skate park, how like most of the features are just flat, um, like rails, boxes, ledges, uh, with some quarter pipes and transition laid in. Um, and that's kind of like what makes the park different from ADOG. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the feel that we all enjoy about Landry, and it's kind of what we want to maintain with the renovations. Yeah, uh, I. Can you bring the cameras back to, to us. Yeah, I. Uh, I also 
agree with what he was saying about it being sort of a plaza style skate park. It's has a DIY nature where everything there you can move around and be really, really creative, which is what skateboarding is sort of all about. It's a way for us to express ourselves. And going to Landry with all the homies, we just move things around and create together. And it's really amazing. Link and build. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just linking and building out there. Awesome. Um, there's like, when you go to Waterfront, and there's like a ton of people on the bike path and like everyone hears about like oh they built this new skate park and every like people who don't skate like go up there and like they watch you and it's like really it i don't know to me i can't like yeah, can do what i want to do in that situation kind of yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. it's like when you ski is so the park at landry is so tucked away from everything that it's like you'll never get that you'll never be feel like random people are just like watching you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree with all that. And I think a big thing that separates uh, the Winooski Skate Park from the A-Dog one uh, is just the amount of open space at the park. Yeah. It's the, there's like A-Dog's a fantastic, like world-class premier park. Um, a lot of the features though are on top of each other. Uh -oh. And so uh, it can make it a little difficult at times when the park is more crowded. Uh, the Winooski one is just like a nice, just another option and style that the community of skateboarders around here can get into and experience, and uh, that's just more space, um, less likelihood of like slamming into somebody right. because the waterfront things are so close to each other. So at times when it's busy, uh, it can feel like you're skating something and it feels like you're in the way of somebody else or somebody could be in the way of you. And it's just kind of just because things are really on top of each other there. And yeah, Winooski is just kind of much more wide open, a little more free range. Uh, you can just like roll around the park for a while and um, not feel like you're, I don't know, got your head on a swivel seeing what's coming around the corner if you're gonna like take out some kid on a scooter. Which is, <laughs> well, you know, nothing parents too. don't get psyched about that. <laughs> um, um, Adolf Park is, is concrete, right? Yeah, oh That's yeah. That's nothing too, yep. right? It's like, which you can't is, move nothing around. Which is great. Concrete's such an awesome surface to skate it's on. It's tough to move yeah. around. Oh. Concrete is. <laughs> <laughs> you it's a little you heavy. Know, like, oh, so yeah. you, gotta you can't do it. You gotta, yeah. So you can't move around. And um, one thing I noticed, too, because like I'm one of those people like ride my bike down the bike path, and then I see, um, ooh, Adolf Park, and people, you know, want to see what's <laughs> going on. Um, and I see that people, they just, they, like, they can't do what they can do at Landry, Landry Park, Skate Park, just, just get on, just, um, just fly around the park, just do their own little board trick, you know, skateboard tricks so, to themselves. Um, so when you jump down, you got to start going to the dang on whatever it is, right? You still, so when you jump down in Adolf's Park, you have to go right into your tricks or your function, whatever it is you got to do. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, you can't stop. You can't stop. You just got to keep mm -hmm. going, right? Mm -hmm. Then it's, yeah, then it's people always got to wait for you, somebody to stop. I noticed that, that. To, to finish something before they can actually do stuff, you know? Yeah, you could hit like, <clears throat> you could be trying to hit the one stair set and the rail and the hubba, like right by the entrance. And that's a really popular zone, but then right by that is also like a really, sh like a little bank and kind of a clamshell quarter pipe that's also really popular, people going back and forth. So you have people landing, uh, you know, landing, you know, they're hitting the stairs, they're hitting the rail, whatever, and where they're landing, that's also like a hot zone for people to be going back and forth. Um, but I mean, nothing to take away from a dog. It's no, like no, it's no, great no, that we yeah. have like so many options oh, and different things to skate no, here. No, like no, the no. Bur Burlington has a really great skate yeah. scene of so many different things mm -hmm. to skate, and so we're just trying to do something different and um, keep the vibe at Winooski the way it is. And that way, the community of skaters around here like have different things to skate. They don't get stagnant on one thing or the other. They can hop around from waterfront, go skate Landry. They can go to the Burton Bowl, this or that. And so there's a ton of variety in this yeah, little Yeah, that's, that's cool. You know? And yeah. the good thing about it, they're not like on top of each other. They're spread, spread out too. Yeah. And you guys ever go to the um, uh, Hub? What's, it's another skate park somewhere. Uh, I can't think of the name. It's in Bristol? Bristol. Yeah. That's the Hub? That's yeah, the that's the Hub. <laughs> so now, they like that need a little workout. Some re, you know. I haven't been there in a long time. Yeah, but uh, it looks like a really fun park. Yeah. Uh, I just, yeah, I mean. I mean, I, I love when we, I love when we got that photo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fall, and it was like pretty fun, but it's really in rough shape. Yeah, yeah it everything's rough like shape. I was crumbling. Because like, um, sometimes I go through there going, doing, taking 116, going to um, Middlebury or whatever. 
and um, or um, Rutland, and I see that park, and I'm like, oh, the hub, you know, and and and, and it's this look from this driving by, look don't look the best shape, you know. What I mean? Yeah, but the, you know, may hope they fix it up. Bruce, the great thing about skateboarders is this sounds a little silly, but we're kind of like cats. You can give us <laughs> you can give us a little cardboard box that doesn't look like much of anything, and we can have fun on it, and we'll play with it for hours and hours on it. Okay, valid. I was like, I don't fall on my exactly. Feet, like, <laughs> <a lot. laughs> oh no, yeah, no, we're not that balanced, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I mean to say is, you can give us a tiny little curb. Um, a broken barrier, and we're gonna play on it yeah. for a really long time yeah. and have a ton of fun. Yeah. So those skate parks that don't look like a whole much, yeah. a lot of you much, skateboarders fun. are having a lot of fun there, but what you're doing and offering to come in, that's so, so huge, because yeah. you're helping us. And yeah, plus, you know, and nothing too, it's like, um, um, you know, you got this incredible trick that you're doing, whatever, and then you're like, okay, and when I land, I gotta make sure I don't land on the corner of that daggone box right there, or, you know, because <laughs> that's gonna kill me. Yeah. I gotta, so you gotta build some extra skill not to hit the, some damage oh, yeah. part of it. Falling something. becomes a skill, yeah. like its own skill in right. skateboarding, yeah, you know? for sure. No, you need to, like, yeah. So that's another thing, too, it's like, it's about safety and liability, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's about having a, a safe place, and you know, I'm sure the, every city official that's in, um, in um, Winooski will say that's their number one objective, like safety and liability, and I, I know that's that's what it is. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to skate uh, any janky parks or setups. I've heard some pretty gnarly stories. Yeah. Of people skating some, like, uh, beat up ramps. Like, my one buddy was skating a ramp, and there was a sh piece of sheet metal sticking up. Oh, God. Oh, oh, it's such a gnarly story, but he, like, he slammed he slid into the sheet metal, and the sheet metal happened to go between his fingernail and his finger. Oh, yeah. so like, Imagine yeah, that. we're trying to avoid that. Yeah. All across that when he was I feel pain. Yeah, this was like a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like hand so sweaty cool. stuff. Yeah, right. Oh god. Yeah. Because because that's the thing though. Um, we won't stop skating them, no matter how much it falls apart. <laughs> yeah, like so that's thing. why it needs to get rebuilt. Because right. we'll just Definitely. continue on. Definitely. Um. um Individuals like me, you know, who might want to try to hit something, and, and um, I want to, I need it right, you know. Yeah, uh, it's really important it's not, for the beginners. I won't be able to miss 100%. it like you guys, you yeah. know, man, or some new, or even as kids, you know, I mean, little kids. Yeah. I mean, they might, you know, they we don't want them to um, learn it, learn on something that's defective, you know. I mean, yeah. we want them to get it right for it. then. Then as they get defective, they can like, yeah, yeah we yeah. know what to do. We're we gonna do a, a cool flip or something, you know, and miss that <laughs> defectiveness. Yeah, but, um, exactly. Huh? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, 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 this, so, um, I think um, everybody, um, the uh, commissioners that you presented to in the community forum in Winooski, um, they uh, sent me an email and they said that um, how they were so incredible how you guys put everything together for them present to them and that um they would they thought that was like you know, i'm about to say this you know but you know they thought that was awesome That's and, right. it, and it about is that. and it is and it was you know what i'm saying and um and so with the whole goal is as we discuss in our meetings like let's just get this thing sopped up you know what i mean and get it done right and so they don't have to go through all this stuff we got it here and, um, I guess we're gonna be talking to David about some pricing, things like that. Yeah. Uh, Spencer and I met with him the other over the weekend okay, and yeah, good. got the ball rolling. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about that. So so let's go to um so when you what you guys wanna talk about now? You wanna talk about what we're gonna put in the park or you wanna or you wanna go back to the um, schematic shot and um, let's go back to the schematic shot. All right, so on the on the schematics, um, the skate park that was up there. It's, um, who want to go over with the things that we say? I don't know if you see, they can see those numbers. Yeah, we see those numbers. Who want to read off those numbers and where these um, these things are going to go, the quarter pikes and things like that, because you got them all numbered. You want to take a stab at you put that? Yeah, yeah. I put the whole thing together, so I think I understand it yeah. uh, well, we a little bit do that. more. Uh, can, understand you go back to, uh, can we come back up to us so I want everybody can see who's talking cause for a minute. Go ahead. Yeah. So, I, you know, we want to we want to show you because okay. you were talking last time we cut you out, but everybody needs to know who you are. Thanks. I need my five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah right, so, so this is Mike Bilan. So he's going to be talking about um, the schematic shots. So, okay. Go back to the schematics. Yeah. So this is uh, a little piece of gibberish that I put together. Um, and basically it's a proposed layout of the new features um, in the park and like 
how it could look and like keep a lot of the old features that are currently there that we all know and love um, while adding some more and still keeping the same kind of feel. Obviously, it does not have to look exactly like this. This is just kind of a proposal. Um, but number one is a three feet high by a 12 foot long quarter pipe. Um, it's similar to the quarter pipes that are over on the, the south side already, um, just a little bit shorter. And then number two uh, is that little square in the middle on the left side. Um, that's four and a half feet by 12 feet wide quarter pipe, and that's just kind of a redone version of what's already there. Uh, number three is just a six foot one. Uh, again, just a, a refinish of, of what's already there. Um, number four is that little square in the top left um, along the edge. That's a concrete ledge that um, one of the community members, LJ, built. Um, it's nice and concrete, um, and a lot of people love that and think that it's one of the best things there. So um, no changes to that would really be necessary. Uh, number five is a 12-foot concrete ledge, uh, similar to the one uh, that's already built. Uh, number five, if you can't see, is the top um, center, close to the halfway point. Um, just like a longer version of, of that concrete ledge. Um, Six would be in the, the right corner, um, and that's just kind of a rebuilt version of the steep hip transfer that's already there. Uh, number seven would be a uh, rebuild of the, the fun box type thing uh, that's already there too. Um, eight would be a new feature in that bottom middle part. It's, it's that like kind of bigger square with the littler square in it. Um, and that would just be a, a bank to ledge. Um, having that built uh, as, a, as a static object that can't be moved is the idea, and that's a, a less used part of the park right now. Um, so putting a, a bank to ledge there kind of makes a lot of sense. Um, and then we have nine, which is the, the barrel rail that's already at the park, um, and that one's pretty fun, so a lot of people would like to see that stay. Uh, 10 is a street spine. This could possibly be movable. I don't know. It depends on how big it would be. Um, but that might be like a pretty decent spot so you can kind of go over it and then like turn around on the quarter pipe and then like maybe go back over it or something like that. Uh, whatever. To each, to each their own. Um, 11 is a short box, like the one that's already there. Maybe just rebuilt. Um, maybe so that it's easier to be moved because um, it's kind of hard to move that one right now. Uh, 12 is the tall box. Uh, again, same thing as a short box. There's already one there. Uh, maybe just make it easier to move. Uh, 13, same deal, medium box, uh, easier to move. 14 is a uh, square flat bar because um, there isn't really anything like that right now and it wouldn't be too tall. It would be nice for beginners or just learning things. And then 15 is a sea ledge, and I think the idea we had is kind of similar to uh, what's at the Maple Street Park in Essex. Um, and pretty sure that's everything. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So let's just go to um, the um, what's, what I, what did I call this? The other sheet. <laughs> the other one. The other one. <laughs> so who want to talk about this one? Because this is something we got like six seven minutes so who's want to talk about this these are the new these are the pieces that we are said that we're gonna yeah you know, gonna try this to is just place everything you just said yeah this yeah. is just more like an itemized breakdown of what mike just spoke about uh just in the list and so this was just to like give to the city commissioners and to share with the you know the whole skate park advisory group as far as you know these are our ideas here's a photo example of kind of what we're thinking and then we just have a note as far as where it could be placed on the park and then you know any other notes for it. So this is kind of the document that kind of kicked mm -hmm. off our group to uh, get our ideas on a piece of paper and talk about them. Um, and yeah, these are just, just examples of the photos uh, of what they could be. It wouldn't be like necessarily exactly these things. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just to get us all on the same page. Yes. Um, yep. Yeah. And then so, on the back side of it okay. is... Um, the last on the back? Just a breakdown of kind of other needs we were thinking for the park. Of course, lights would be awesome if we could just skate longer in the day when mm -hmm. it, the sun goes down. Um, utility shed, just uh, 
some of us already spend a lot of time when we get there just um, sweeping leaves, <laughs> sweeping water off. So just like seeing if the city can provide us with those tools, uh, just to make it easier for us, so uh, to make you know cleaning things up easier. A leaf blower, man, yeah. that would make all the difference. That would be amazing. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, then we have a note, just there are some low spots in the park where water collects and cool. if water sits in a spot on the park for too long, uh, just eats away at the surface. That is a trickier thing to fix, so that might just be something that we just uh, pay attention to and, you know, clean up with squeegees and brooms, you know, as soon as we can. Uh, and then just, you know, there's some brush on the northern kind of end of the park that feels like it's growing onto and over into the park. So it'd be cool to get that all cleaned up and, you know, maybe just extending the paved driveway um, to the park. Um, I th yeah. think that, like, extending the pavement to the park could be, like, really, really oh, sick. Oh, yeah, it could surface. be, yeah. Because you could, like... Well, like, for one thing, it's, like, a pain to not be able to skate up from the parking lot to the park and have to, like, walk through, like, a bunch of mud and, yeah. like, stuff like that. <laughs> but, like, well, you could put, like, features Always, on the yeah. path. Uh, that would I thought be it'd be cool. cool if that was, like, a roll, like, just, like, a little, like, Yeah, like, warm up, park. like, in the, uh, yeah. on your way in. That would, I don't know. That would be, like, icing on the cake. Yeah. You know? That would so, be um, so, um, um, so we got five minutes left. Um, and so, you know, this is, um... Our next step, you guys are working on the pricing, right? Because, because mm -hmm. basically, um, um, like with, with these, the, with the information we have here and the pricing of um, these items, it just make everybody's job easy, even the city. Yeah, for sure. And as you know, the city of Winooski is having a, um, a they um, they doing a master plan. Mm -hmm. They about to rebuild it. You heard and you guys oh, yeah. heard that stuff. They, they about to rebuild a lot of things in the city of Winooski. It's going to be incredible. It's already it's growing. It's going to even more and um and so um we come in right on time you know what i mean because uh the mat part of the master plan is it's the park you know mm -hmm. and um and so we, we're gonna help them out you know yeah <laughs> this is this is gonna they don't, it's a no-brainer because here, here it all is you know what i'm saying and i'm very fortunate you know as, as um a part of this right now i'm a, i am i'm executive director of service render but uh, i am also a city of winooski commissioner and so um I'll be a part in, you know, and, you know, most of they let me, you know what I mean, um, to um, help get this going. So as of, as of this point, with the information we have and you guys made up, you know, all the ideas and suggestions, that I'll be able to, present, you know, pass this on to people um, there so they can give it to um, um, our Ray Coffee, probably. He's the program um, director for the city of Winooski. And, um, and so they can start getting pulling together. So um, they were saying that between next month, by next month or something, that we're going to be on the agenda. Mm -hmm. So we to present, you know, it's all us for real there. You know what I'm saying? So so be so now that we have these two pieces, and we have um, we we have the um, the pricing. Should have an estimate, yeah. The estimate and. Um, then um, we need just to start working on our presentation, right? So I think um, one of you think is that we should set up another time, you know, at the, our meeting spot, and I can do that. And um, yeah, if we're gonna meet, so on the 11th, right? This it's gonna be a mm -hmm. bigger presentation well, of that, that bigger right city there, plans, right? That's just, well, you put it in, and in front of the commissioners stuff. last time, right? For the community forum, and now you get to do the same thing, community forum, with the city council, with the mayor and the deputy mayor and city councilors. Jim and Myers and all those guys will be, in, will be there to hear you like you did last time. But this time, it's, we're not on the agenda still, but it's just good because now we're part of the, we'll be in front of the city council. But we'll be able to see like kind of plans, mock ups, layouts, roughly. Oh, yeah. So we can. Oh, oh yeah. So, so yeah, probably oh, after and, that would be a good yep, time to and, meet when we can see kind of yeah. what everybody else is thinking. Yep. And, yeah. And, um, and I think um, what everybody else is thinking is not what they, well, from, from my thinking, is, is what you guys thinking, what everybody else should be thinking when it comes down to the skate yeah, park. Yeah, how we can incorporate yeah. the skate you park. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, because sure. they not, oh, yeah. they didn't, if they, if they haven't, uh, they haven't convened a meetings with you like like we, like all of us have done, then then they ain't got the right information. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, really, think about it. So, uh, so, so I think, you know, this is like, this, you know, you, you know, you put the yellow dot here, you put the green dot here, you put the, write your comments and your suggestions, you know, da, 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 and we need to do that. So we need to do that. So we got one minute. So anybody want to say any last parting things about um, anything? 
No, I mean, thanks, right. for, thanks for having us, Bruce, <laughs> and all your help getting us along in this process. And yeah, right. we're excited to see yeah. things happen. Man. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And I just want to thank our new intern, Anna, for behind the scene. Thank you, Anna. The camera. Can you see my show on the camera on uh, Anna right quick? Here we go. <laughs> Yay, Anna. Yeah. <laughs> All right. She's the bomb diggity. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And well, you'll hear a lot more about the um, skate park and um, Atlantic Skate Park and Winooski coming up soon. Have a good evening.